Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Still got a handful of jerky reviews left. Um, and then that might be it for a while. I don't know. I mean, unless I find some new stuff. And this is alligator jerky. Uh, from Newport, Rhode Island. Newport Jerky Company. Now, these are more expensive. I think there's around 12 or 13 bucks for uh, how many ounces? What is it? 1.7. Well, <laughs> but it's pure alligator. If I don't understand, like, uh, the beef jerky I would have, like, wild game. And they mix it with pork or something like that. It wasn't, like, straight up just a wild game or something like that. Maybe it was to cut costs above the prices they charge. Wow. But this is, like, uh, pure alligator. Teriyaki sauce and all this other good stuff. Let's try it out. Hopefully it'd be better than that camel. The camel was terrible. I, it was inedible. You know, still a little bit more <laughs> to eat. But, I mean, I didn't like the camel at all. Well, the alligator would be better. Yeah, shout out to Robert Forrest who starred in the Allen movie Alligator 1980. Louis Teague did. I love that movie. When we first saw it, oh, it was on. Well, I finally saw it uncut on YouTube. I remember we always. It used to be showed at the Midnight Movie. Well, Midnight Movie on uh, CBS Late Night Movie. I think it was at Midnight. And that was a big hit on Fridays. That did really well on the show. My dad was a big fan of it. I was too. Dean Jagger, Robert Forrester, dressed by Louis Teague. Now, do you smell the sweetness from the soy sauce and stuff? Let's try it out. This is what it looks like. I'm actually alligator, but boy, I knew it did a sequel to it because of mutation in 91 or something like that. I always wanted to see it. I remember seeing the alligator and the alligator 2 back to back, but alligator 2 sucked. It was awful. I'm glad I didn't rent it. It was back in the days where I still rented it outside of the army and stuff. I used to work at Wendy's, but, oh, barely. A month or two. And walk over to this rental place, and they had it there, but I always, I never rented it. I'm glad I didn't. So this sucked. But I remember renting the movie Cube there. Cube was awesome. And I saw the other one, what was it? Cube Zero and Cube... Cube 1 or something. I can't remember the name. I remember Cube 0. And then Cube, of course. Mm. Now, this is chewy, but the camel was like... This is tough, but the camel is really tough. A lot of time the teriyaki sauce would overpower. That's what this did too. Don won't like it. I mean, I don't know if Alga has a game tape, but I can't tell by this. <clears throat> it's all right. Here's a Newport uh, Jerky Company, Alligator Jerky. Mm. 7 out of 10. And I put it in this case, Teriyaki. On this one. Mm. 
I noticed one place I used to really like to I worked in or end up being a horrid place. Ages ago. A barbecue place. Might have worked there five, six months. Um... Now, yes, they used to sell alligator sausage. I never knew that. I would have got some, and then the guy said it was too expensive, so they stopped serving it. Everything is too expensive there, so they stopped. And they have great customer service and stuff, give a little, little free samples up. But then, um, this is back in, I mean, they're long since gone. But it's back in, like, 92, 93. Well, they're, uh, their thing to like bad cut. They said it was our fault because of customer service. That's why they were fi failing. They blamed on us. And then what they they saw the way they saw this, the shrink portions and raised prices on all the mad lines. You know I think mad lines is doing pretty good. And mad lines wanted nineteen bucks for fifteen wings. They're out of their damn mind. Hope you liked this video, everybody. Till next time, please take care, of my legion.